Hey everybody, what's going on? So today in this video we're going to talk about a couple things. One being a brand new bait. Um, I've talked about it once before, but I want to talk about a little bit of a trick that I found with it uh, that I think is really cool and it's probably one of the only baits I've ever seen uh, that you can do so many different modifications to it. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Also we're going to talk about some of my top three favorite bluegill baits uh, as far as soft plastics go. I'll talk a little bit more about uh, other ways of rigging these soft plastics that I use. Uh, but first thing, this is something that I found the other day that brought back some memories. I don't actually remember catching any fish with this rod, but I do remember fishing with this rod. Um, I do remember I caught a turtle with this rod. And it's been a long time, but I do remember catching a turtle with my cousin. You guys may remember me going out fishing with my cousin, Big Bait Baker. Uh, I caught a lot of fish uh, on videos with him. And we actually was out fishing a long time ago, like really far back. Um, and I caught a red slider turtle with this rod. And that's pretty much the only memory from that time in my life that I can actually remember. Um, but this rod is a push button Snoopy rod. And it still has an old rusty bluegill hook. That's honestly probably the same hook that I caught that turtle with. Um, it's pretty short. Uh, I think it's like, I don't think it's quite 24 inches. I think it's a little bit longer than 24 inches. Um, it does not have any measurements or anything on it. The only thing that's on it is the word Zebco and Snoopy because it's got Snoopy on it. It's pretty cool. It probably doesn't reel right anymore because it's been a long time since I've even messed with this. But I think it's pretty cool that I was able to find it. I figured I'd show it to you guys. This was pretty much probably one of my very first fishing poles ever. So I thought it was pretty cool. It's got like the pistol grip type thing where you would, you hold it like this right here. I think it's pretty neat. Pretty much what the very first fishing rod I've ever had. Pretty much what started all my fishing obsession that I have now. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about one of the newer baits here at Doc's Lure Company. This bait is called the Night Fury. If I can pick it up. I'm trying to keep wanting to fall out of my hand. But here it is right here. There's the two pinchers on it. Now, as I was saying a second ago, there's a lot of modifications you can do to this bait. Um, and what I have found is if you take some scissors, just like these, these are just plain scissors, and you take where the pinchers are, you pull the pinchers back like so, and right where the pinchers connect to the body, you clip that off. Now, you are left with, essentially, two lures. You are left with a craw bait, Nice little three inch, about three inch long craw bait, right there. And you have a little tiny finesse worm. And I tell you what, this here will catch fish, I guarantee you. I've used stuff just like this before, and I've caught fish on it. Just a little short little worm like that. There you go, you have two baits now. Something else you can do, I have another one right here. You can take and take the claws and pull them out. Clip each claw off. Just like that. And now you have a about six inch finesse worm. It has a little bit of a bigger head. has a wider head than most normal finesse worms. You can put a bigger hook in it. And it's as straight as can be. So that's what I think is really cool. You basically, you have four baits in one. You have the regular, I actually brought three of these just to show you guys all three of them. You have the regular, all put together Night Fury. Now these colors are green pumpkin. Uh, this one here is green pumpkin with purple and green flake. And the other one is just green pumpkin magic with uh, all kinds of flake in it. But that there... You have the normal Night Fury without any trimmings or anything to it. Then you have the little 
claw or crawl bait right there. Perfect for a jig trailer. You also have this little worm and you know I didn't cut it perfectly straight because I couldn't really see it very well but you can cut that down and make it a little bit more pointed or um, I don't know if I have one of those in here. If I do I'll show you guys what I normally do with uh, yeah I do. It has a bait on it but I can take that off. It has a 8 inch slammer worm on it but I can take that off real quick and I'll show you guys what you could do with that and it would actually work perfect just the way it is put that slammer worm over there take that flat head screw it into the screw lock on a shaky head kind of hard to do with that light shining in my eyes You just keep spinning it right on there. You stick the hook through. You tech expose it. I didn't do it straight because of that light. And now you have a little finesse shaky head rig. A little short little worm. Then you have the normal little bait like that. You can also, you know, I didn't clip all of it off, but you can you can go ahead and clip all that off. The uh, the cat that you guys see in my shop every once in a while is trying to get in here and I had to scare him off. Now he's back in here. Come here. Come here. You wanna be on a video? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I can't reach you when you're over there. Get up. There. You wanted to be on a video, didn't you? There. I'll be right back. I'm going to go put him up. Come on. Stay out of here now. All right. Hopefully he'll stay out of here. Okay, so the next, the next uh, thing that we're going to talk about is my top three favorite bluegill and crappie uh, basically any kind of pan fish you can also catch bass on these my mom has caught bass on two of the three that i'm going to show you and my dad has caught bass on i think all of the three um i've caught bass on two of the three so first thing probably my number one favorite bluegill bait is the little 1.5 swim bait by doc Zirka. this is the um the uh, crystal shad with purple flake it has a very little bit of purple flake just give it enough flash in the water not to overpower the fish you know you know blind them with the purple um but you can still see it in the water as it swims through and it looks really really good uh the type of jig head that i normally use with these is this type of jig head right here a little jig head now it doesn't have a barb on the lead that's actually, in my opinion, it's better. Um, but you just stick it through the nose like so. I personally like using the smaller jig heads like this. With some maybe 8 pound or 10 pound uh, trilene on a spinning rod. Just like that. Perfect. I've, the very first time I ever took one of those out, um, I cast it out as in green pumpkin with uh, blue and silver flake, I believe. I cast it out there, was reeling it, all of a sudden I just felt thunk, set the hook, and caught about a, probably I think it was about 9 inch long uh, green sunfish bluegill hybrid on it, the very first cast. So they are awesome baits uh, for bluegill. Another great color, this here is another newer color, is the crystal shad with the green flake. Now they come, all the crystal shad come in blue, white, silver, purple, or green. Uh, the only reason I don't do the red flake is the red flake that I use does kind of tint the uh, color a little bit. If you do the crystal shad, it does kind of tint the color. Um, I honestly, I kind of think it's just the red flake bouncing off of the plastic itself. I don't think it's making the color look any different. Um, I think it's mainly just the plastic um, lighting, you know, stuff like that. Um, and it kind of makes the worm look a little bit different or the bait, whatever you're using. Uh, it looks, makes it look a little bit different, and that's why I don't use the red in the Crystal Shad. So, next is the Doxler Company 
two inch swim bait. Now a lot of people wouldn't use something this big for bluegill um, or any kind of panfish unless you're fishing for maybe rock bass. Um, a lot of people would use a two inch swim bait like this for small mouth or spotted bass or even large mouth. Um, but I'll tell you what, something else that this is good for is uh, redfish and uh, sea trout. Um, a buddy of mine um, he doesn't do YouTube or anything, but he did buy some of these and he used them down there and he did catch some uh, redfish. They weren't giants, they, you know, they weren't no 40 inch bull reds. They were, you know, probably 15, you know, normal size for like a bass around here, you know, maybe two pound, but they, he caught a bunch of them from what I understand. He was using a different color. He was using, um, what color was that? I think it was, uh, it's been a while since... He'd done that. What was that color? I think it was uh, Crystal Shad, but with uh, silver and blue flake. I don't remember, though. Two-inch swim bait is awesome for bluegill. Um, what I like to do with it is I'll rig it on two different jig heads. I'll either rig it on the jig head like this. If I'm going for, um, you know, if I'm in a pond. Get out of here, cat. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. I had to get that cat out of here. But something I like to do also is if I'm in a more of a um, sparse vegetation um, is I'll use a smaller jig head. That way I can bring it up a little bit closer to the surface. That way I don't uh, bog it down in the grass and get it stuck. Um, but if I'm fishing bottom or if I'm fishing around um, no cover, just fishing it real slow on the bottom, um, I'll throw it on a quarter ounce jig head and I'll just really slowly swim across the bottom and I've caught a lot of big bluegill just slow crawling it really slowly on the bottom. And it's just back there thumping real slow. And all of a sudden you'll just feel a thump. And that line will just start swimming almost like a worm bite for bass fishing. And that's how I fish it. This right here is an underrated bait in my opinion. A lot of people don't throw stuff like this because a lot of people don't make stuff like this. Um, I think that, to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen... A small little minnow presentation like this in these good of colors. Um, I've seen them in some like really awful looking purple pink combos and stuff like that um, but I don't think I've ever seen them in good actually good colors uh, especially for bluegill. You know crappie they bite crazy colors um, but if you're trying to catch bluegill and big bluegill at that you don't want you know a bright purple or bright chartreuse you kind of want more of a natural color and I think that this crystal shad with the green flake is really good. This here is the two inch drop shot minnow. It's a little a little bit smaller than the two inch swim bait. The perfect little little bait fish imitator. And what I do is depending on the application, if I'm fishing deeper fish, um, I'll normally just put it on a jig head, cast it out, let it fall to the bottom and kind of pop it up every once in a while. Almost like I would be fishing a uh, um, some people like fishing a rattle trap this way. Um, I like fishing a jig with a swim bait like this, is I'll cast it out, let it fall to the bottom, and then kind of pop it up and swim it a little bit, pop it up, swim it, and that's how I like to fish them. But another way that I like fishing these little baits, um, I've caught some pretty big bluegill doing this as well, is uh, taking a small cork, not no giant, you know, you know, big bobber or that big around, but a small little bobber and a jig head, just like this one here that I have in this 1.5 swimmer, and just casting it out there, letting it fall down, and then just kind of popping it every once in a while. It's real slow popping it. And that bait will just kind of hop like that in the middle of the water column. And it is really good. I've caught some bass doing that. I've lost some pretty decent bass doing that. And I've caught some pretty big bluegill doing that. So those are my three favorite uh, bass fishing baits. And easily, in my opinion, the two best colors for uh, bluegill. Sorry, I think I said bass. I meant to say bluegill. Uh, in my opinion, the best three uh, colors is white and red, either that or just plain white like this one here is, or crystal shad or green pumpkin, especially for uh, natural bluegills, not no, uh, you know, crazy hybrid insane bluegill. The most of the time, I won't catch hybrids on green pumpkin. I'll most of the time catch them on a crystal shad. I have noticed that. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know why... The hybrids don't normally bite uh, the green pumpkin, but most of the time, I'll say most of the time, because not always, uh, but when I'm throwing green pumpkin, I'll catch the natural, normal bluegill, 
And when I'm throwing something like the Crystal Shad, or maybe even a black, uh, black and blue, black and red, whatever, um, I'll catch the uh, the hybrids more most of the time, or the whites. The uh, white swim baits do catch a lot of hybrids. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's just a thing, you know, that I ran into, or if it's a, it's an actual fact. Um, but that's just something that I found that does happen sometimes. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you do want to purchase any of the baits in this video, the 2-inch swim bait, let me find it up here on my list. The 2-inch swimmer comes in a 20-pack. The 1.5 swimmer also comes in a 20-pack. And the, uh, the Night Fury, which I cut them all up, I'm trying to show you guys. Uh, wait, do I have one right here, don't I? Yes, I do. The Night Fury has three different baits in one. The Night Fury does come in a 10 pack, and I just dropped the treble hooks. Um, colors you got white, green pumpkin, black, neon pink, uh, chicken liver, root beer, transparent red, which is kind of a, uh, you can, it's a more see through red. Uh, then there's blood red, which is a very bright red that you can't see through. Then there's uh, electric blue and crystal shad. You guys seen the crystal shad? There's multiple glitters, and you can also get no glitter. Um, the glitter is completely optional. The red, blue, silver, white, pump, uh, purple, and green. Uh, so yeah, the Night Fury comes in a 10-pack. Sorry, I don't think I said that. And the 2-inch Drop Shot Minnow, let me find that up there on the list. It's kind of hard to see from the light. Uh, the 2-inch Drop Shot Minnow comes in a 15-pack. So... If you want to purchase any of them, $4 a piece, and uh, my PayPal email thing will be down in the description. So thank you guys for watching once again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.